The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. Is where we might start doing that. It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, dude. You're just over dramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you know enough of all the shit we've been in? to take the safety off a gun before you use it. Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay, I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got racing. We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapping crazy. We wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Crazy's got my back here over some chump hood from Dukes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Her old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. Come on, hurry up, man. The place we're checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, though? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get up? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh, wait! I tried that, but it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh yeah, I've already been picked off once, Dee, and I nearly got killed because of it. That's the house, up there. I think that's their car, Lou, the red one. Let's follow it. Where's he going? I don't know where he's going, you idiot. That's why we're following him. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of Dukes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the East Borough Bridge so he can get himself up to Bohan. Fuck! Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I can go to sleep at a moment like this? What? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. Well, throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a ride in one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Tony Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. We could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro. Keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. They'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fan. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, Pete. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. 
Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spirit you shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of monkeys. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than dupes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time in Alderney State. Irish like those guys who walked our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great! What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them crooked, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. Look, he's going through the booth tunnel. I ain't going in there, T. You think I want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this shopper up. Okay, boss. the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me Gay Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit. Cliché-loving moron. There was that one marble thing before. That was art. Yeah, giant, fanny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. What's he been doing driving anywhere? We give him a moment and call it in if it feels weird. Okay, okay. Why does everything feel weird to me? Because you owe money to half the city and the other half wants you dead. Paranoia is advising our situation. Look, he's there. Just lead us back to Gracie, you fucker. Thank you. 